Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. Let me just jump on here real quick. Welcome to the crazy, crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, listen here, y'all. I just saw this um, story that um, I just really need to share with the family because it just seems like we're continuously going back and back and back in time back uh, to a time and to a place where um, that's just the past. That's the best way to describe it. Um, there's a breaking news report that says a squirrel had test positive for the bubonic plague in Colorado. Hello? Okay. We got a couple of fish fishes there. Yeah. No, 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 no. You right here, right? Get, get them fishes. Come. Where you at? Oh, okay. I was Okay, let me push this right here. Oh, this is this is so insane. This is the most craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, it said public health officials have announced that a squirrel in Colorado has tested positive for the bubonic plague. The town of Morrison, Colorado, in Jefferson County, which is just west of Denver, made a startling announcement saying that the squirrel is the first case of plague in the county. Plague is an infectious disease caused by bacteria Yersinia pestis and can be contracted by humans and household animals if proper precautions are not taken. Jesus Christ. My goodness. It is possible for humans to be infected with the bubonic plague through bites from infected fleas and by direct contact with blood or tissues of infected animals, such as a cough or a bite. Jefferson County public health officials said that cats are highly susceptible to the plague from things like flea bites, a rodent scratch or bite, and ingesting an infected rodent. Cats can die if not treated quickly with antibiotics after contact with the plague. Officials said that dogs are not as susceptible to the plague as cats, but still may pick up and carry plague-infected rodent fleas. Any pet owner who suspects that their pet is ill should contact a veterinarian immediately. Symptoms of the plague may include sudden onset of high fever, chills, headache, nausea, extreme pain, and swelling of the lip nodes. A... Uh, uh, occur within two to seven days after exposure. Plague can be effectively treated with antibiotics when diagnosed early. Anyone experiencing these symptoms should consult a physician. This, this is insane. Um, eight big cats confirmed also tested positive for the coronavirus at a New York Zoo. And now they have a risk for contracting the bubonic plague, is but it's extremely low as long as the proper precautions are taken. Um, and so, what the hell is really, really going on? And the JCPH published a list of items including eliminating all sources of food, shelter, and access for wild animals around the home, not feeding wild animals. Maintaining a litter and trash-free yard to reduce wild animal habits. Having people and pets should avoid all contact with sick or dead wild animals and rodents. Using precautions when handling sick pets and having them examined by a veterinarian. Consulting with veterinarian about flea and tick control uh, for pets and keeping them from roaming freely outside the home where they may prey upon wild animals and bring the disease home with them. 
all pet owners who live close to wild animal populations, such as prairie dogs, uh, colonies, or other known wildlife habitats, should consult their veterinarian about flea control for their pets to help prevent the transfer from fleas to humans. According to the CDC, even though there is no vaccine for the plague, it can be treated successfully with antibiotics if it's caught within 24 hours. Arguably, the most infectious plague outbreak was the so-called Black Death, a multi-century pandemic that swept through Asia and Europe, according to the National Geographic. It is believed to start in China in 1334 spreading along trade routes and reaching Europe via Sicilian ports in the late 1340s. The plague killed an estimated 25 million people, almost a third of the continent's population. The Black Death lingered on for centuries, particularly in the cities. Outbreaks included the break, the Great Plague of London in 1665, 1666, in which 70,000 residents died. However, the CDC says there is now only an average of seven human plague cases per year, and the World Health Organization says that the mortality rate is estimated to be between 8 and 10 percent. So, just so you know, again, a squirrel has tested positive for the bubonic plague, and that was in Colorado, and of course this stuff has a propensity to spread, and um, hopefully this is this is not going to be spread through in, uh, infected squirrels. So y'all better quit feeding these uh, things and uh, uh, and I, I know it's hard for some of you wildlife lovers, but you need to stop feeding them, stop them from coming around your property, and um, do what you can to keep yourself safe and um, out of the way of poison. My God. All right. Like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you in the next video.